Denny, I want to fish this pool, uh, now known as mouse pool, and we're going to use a mouse pattern. And you were telling me there's a place I should fish in, in, a, in a certain way. Can you explain it to me quickly? Yes, what you want to do is go right here, cast across to the foam, see in the center? Yeah. The foam is trickling down, cast across there, and just keep the top of your rod up and just trickle back very slowly just to get your mouse moving. Just keep the rod tip keep, up, keep, keep the line the off the water up. and twitch it across. Just twitch it across. Okay. Sorry I said quickly, I just, I'm excited. I want to get one of these big trout. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I switched to a mouse pattern. Danny gave me one of Bert's great mouse patterns. And I was, <clears throat> oh, look at this guy go. And uh, I was waking it through. I made about three or four passes and I'm just stripping an extra foot out each time. And, uh, I just put an extra foot on it and this guy came up and just inhaled it. It was an incredible hit. Beautiful colors on this guy. It's big fish. I think I got him. He's not liking the shallow, shallower water, Danny, but I'll keep his head up here. I think he's ready. Yeah. Just take the time with him. It's all in real. Okay. He's got it right in the corner of the jaw. Oh. All right. <laughs> Good job netting him there. Danny, you just lower it down a bit. Thank you. Oh, look at the colors it's in that fish. Beautiful female. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully the camera can see that. Look at the spots. Just starting to get a bit of the spawning colors on. Look at the reds. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Okay, let's go. Oh, ready to go. Thank you, sir. You did a great job. You're welcome, sir. And here's what I was using. And this was a, a great pattern that Bert tied. It's this mouse. Well, that was great. Let's get another one. <laughs> that was fun. So I'm working over this area here, and a lot of people just walk by it. But this is where having a great guide is so important. And Danny had told me that this looks like a flat. It isn't. There's a deep trough right through the center. There's boulders all through here, so there's lots of places for the fish to lie. The landlocks and the trout will be all through here, and what they're going to be doing is trying to find efficient places to lie, whether in front of a boulder, behind a boulder, in the edge, in a cut. They're going to be looking for efficient places to lie, and by that what I mean is they don't want to expend any more energy than they have to, and at the same time they want to be close to some deeper water for security, and at the same time they also want to be in a place where they can grab food. So if that little brook trout makes a mistake of going near that trough, they can dart out quickly and grab it and eat it and come back into cover. And at the same time, they don't want to expend a lot of energy because the winter's coming and that's the worst thing they can do. If they want to survive the winter, they got to be big and fat and not burn any uh, calories. So when we're fishing in this type of area, we got to think about those things, looking for any type of mark on the top surface water that tells me there's a boulder or there's something underneath there that could be a possible lie for a big fish. Okay, he came right up and he just came right down on top of it. Oh, what a fish, what a fish. Oh yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's a strong fish. He's a strong one. We got, got him. him. All right. The fish, the line came right around, right at the end of the swing. He came over, he rolled on top of it, he grabbed it, and away we go. What a beauty. Let's get him back in the water and look for some more. <laughs> 